I'd like to introduce Russell Seveny. Russell is a fifth degree black belt in Hapkido and runs the local uh, martial arts school, Way of the Orient. Um, I've trained with him for many years. He's a really good martial artist. Uh, he's going to be sprayed by our friend Pontia today. Russell's going to menace her and threaten her, and she's going to spray him in the face, and then he's going to try to chase her down, and she's going to show how easy it is to avoid somebody after they've been sprayed in the face with Inferno. Come here. Come here. Get over. How's he going to Ah, I'm done. Ah, right. Ah, right by. Don't keep using the same one. Toss the other one. You really water? Yeah. There you go. There you go. What we have here? You're talking. Start blinking underwater. Uh, uh, what are you feeling, Russell? I'm having a hard time breathing. Eyes are burning. You feel like fighting? <laughs> Not at all. You think you'd be pretty defenseless right now, totally, Russell? Totally. Oh, without this, I can't imagine. Uh, you use a new one every time, Tom. You already, it's already getting better, Russell. You're already calming down. All right, Russell, I'm going to spray you. Right. Let's get him wiped off, and then we'll go to the next one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get... Open your eyes underneath the water. I Is that starting to help now? A little bit. Oh, God, the burden. Does it feel like somebody took a blowtorch to your face? Absolutely. It still does. Uh, uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me grab that arm over there. Uh, uh. Are you having a hard time breathing right now? Uh huh. Yeah, you feel it in your nose? Oh, totally. Why don't you describe what you're going through right now? Oh, I'm having a hard time breathing. <coughs> How about uh, through the nose? Oh, my nose is completely blocked. <coughs> Well, it's been about 45 minutes again since Russell was uh, sprayed with this pepper spray. And uh, Russell, you did a good job. Uh, tell us what it was like and what happened when uh, you got sprayed. Well, as soon as she sprayed me, it went right in my eyes. And I think with the upper angle, it went up my nose. And uh, it, my whole mucous membrane locked up. I had a hard time breathing. I was trying to find her, but I, I couldn't open my eyes to see. And uh, it was, uh, like Luke said earlier, like your face was getting hit by a blowtorch. And based on all your martial experience, I know that you've done a lot of um, uh, competitive fighting and you've taught for many years, and I know that you're a tough guy. Did you feel like you could really defend yourself? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I, one of the things is I was cleaning and, and you know, we were going through the washing process. I can't imagine what it would be like to not have a group of people right there waiting to clean you up afterward and to just lie there and cook for however long it takes to get help. Um, as bad as that was, I, I wouldn't want to do it without having tubs of water and people there to clean you up and take care of you. So it's your recommendation this is a good remedy against a, a self-defense situation? Someone's going to attack you, you give them a blast of inferno in the face and they're finished? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can stop a 300-pound monster coming after you can stop anybody with it. Thanks a lot, Russell. Thank you, Lynn.